Hi friends, I'm TTB. Welcome back to Battletech Advanced 3062. It has been a while and unfortunately we cannot resurrect the old save game because uh, we've, we're playing a new mission, a new version of Battletech Advanced um, and it is substantially new so there are unfortunately no options for us to get back into our old save game. So we're starting a new career. This is going to be uh, the uh, Single Malt Crusaders and we're starting in Deviant Space. Uh, same style as last time, we are going with the uh, extra cash. Um, checking out the barracks, let's see who we have here. We've got Bloody Doves. Ready, Commander. Oh, he's back. Yes, the Commander. Caveman. Orders. Coach. Orders. Drew and Orders. Ningyo. Okay. Uh, some of these dudes yes, are Commander. quite far progressed. Standing by. Unfortunately, Ready, not amongst Commander. the paths that I want them to be in. I mean, this is going to be helping us, of course. Bloody Duff is going to be very nice to help us. I wonder if we just do the jackpot of, of actually drawing him as one of our first pilots. But um, I want I want different kinds of, of ways to build our pilots. So I'm going to start with TTB here. We're going to go into tactics for target prediction. Because this will give us two accuracy for the remainder of the turn. With a four turn cooldown. And if you have that on, on enough lands, mates, you can basically get, get, keep the target prediction going like crazy. And after that, um, I probably want to go towards Cold Shot Bonus. I also um, am thinking about either getting Battle Lord or getting um, Bulwark here. Because Bulwark can help, can help a lot to keep safe and stay alive, right? So, kind of want to have some dedicated snipers. You kind of want to have some dedicated people who can uh, take a punch. And these need something like, like Bulwark, for example. Um, or maybe something like, where is it? Uh, defensive formation or just be evasive with enough evasive pips right uh, but for TTB he's gonna be one of our max mech killers so improved call shot maybe or should we go with battle lord because battle lord is an important skill as well gives us 50% more damage and hitting with 2 plus 2 accuracy for the turn just does can generate a lot of heat though I'm gonna go with battle lord here mm-hmm See, once you select your your secondary uh, tier one talent, all the other talents go away. So you can either go Battle Lord, or you can go Guts and uh, with, with the armor talents. So it's a little bit of a problem, but uh, we're going this way, I guess. And then isn't there like a base, another base evasion pip that we can get? No, split multiplier only. Okay, that's not important then. Remove, remove. Let's. Um, I mean, the cold shot bonus is important, but in the beginning, um, I don't want to get these skills though. So you get, you kind of have to go towards master tactician, um, get that first, and then you can work on getting your damage skills up. And by damage skills, up, I mean gunnery up, because you want to pull up gunnery as fast as possible, or maybe you pull gunnery up to like here, it's because you just want to get the base weapon hit up. Actually, it's different. Did they change the base weapon hit? It's like only one percent per gunnery point now. That was interesting. So you could pull this up to like 7% base hit. Also get reduced recoil. It actually shows that we get something here, okay? Plus one sprint multiplier. This is plus one events evasive. Yeah, yeah, this is hit defense. Okay. So over here we get more evasive. Alright. And then guts that will help us with our health and also with our heat, right? Heat efficiency, okay. Extra point of health here, extra point of uh, heat efficiency, and this is also extra point of health. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be tactics and gunnery for TTB. Confirm. Training confirmed, Commander. And I need a scout. I'm ready. And this guy looks like a scout. This guy looks like a scout. Caveman definitely looks like a scout to me. <laughs> We're going to go. He's got, he's got sure footing. Yep. I think that's what we wanted, right? Yep, we wanted sure footing. Perfect. I live to serve. So sure footing will give us bonus evasion charges after moving. And then we'll probably get um, invisible target. And then uh, we will get probably get bulwark. And we'll, what that will give us is we can we can just charge into cover. It'll be super hard to hit. And if we get hit, we take 40% uh, less 
damage. That's gonna be nice. Or we could also get like target prediction, of course. That's kind of up in the air right now. But yeah, we definitely want to have that skill, invisible target. It's gonna be super evasive. Confirmed. And then we've got duo right here. Um, that looks like a tank to me. It's got bulwark, um, battle lord. Yeah, they're not having the right skills though. So, coach, I think you. I need to develop these dudes. And um, later on, we'll probably ready, commander. We'll probably retire bloody doves. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> probably retire him, uh, depending on whether we can use him or not. We'll see. I will be done. But having ready, having a 10 out of 10 pilot. Right at the get-go. That's actually quite lucky. <laughs> okay. Looking into our mech bay. Let's see what we have. Oh. Bonus rewards. Mech spare parts. Open door. LRM-10. Some ammo. Oh, and the BA stuff. The BA stuff. The battle armor stuff. Yeah, yeah. We won't be using that because it's garbage. Uh, we've got a... What is that? Is that, is that a chameleon? A 50-tonner. Okay. We got a chameleon. We got a griffin. We got a fire... What the hell is that? Fireball. A locust. It's a laser locust, right? Yeah. And a... Hus Hussar. Okay, I've never seen that thing. It looks creepy. What's it carrying? A large laser? It's just one large laser. This thing is literally a large laser on legs. And plus one increased resolve gain for all Lance members. Okay, that's not horrible. Let's look at the chameleon. It's got machine guns, large laser, medium laser, small laser, medium laser, machine gun ammo. That thing could be nice. This thing could be nice. Not gonna lie. I am not going to lie. Let me put a griffin right here. The griffin is uh, LRM, large pulse. You got a large pulse laser in the griffin here, okay. That's also not bad. Okay. Now, let's look into engineering. We need to upgrade our Argo to be able to field more mechs. I think it's drop size, right? We can deploy five mechs from the get-go, as far as I know or seem to remember. I think we can, we can deploy five mechs from the get-go. For drop size, I need what? Repaired power conduits. So, this thing? Yep. So power conduits is a, is a priority, also mech control, but drop weight limit. Um, and then also here, the scaffolding for two tech points, mech control gives us vehicle, we don't need that. So tech points is also what we need, because it's super slow at the beginning to actually throw stuff around. So I'm going to go with um, with tech points first. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. Catalina saying dropship upgrade is a big miss in Mech Warrior 5, I agree. That would be a, that could be a, a half a DLC on its own. But lucky if the Griffin says they zipped its work. Mm, we'll see how lucky we got. Let's check what kind of missions are available here. Let's see what we can get. We're gonna start with like a half half star assassinate. Looks good to me. These are all Deviant missions. These are for the planetary government. Okay. Now, what was, the, what was the deal with salvage in this game? Was it like always go max salvage? Always go cash? What was the... I don't remember what we said. I think we said always max salvage, right? I think we said always max much, much salvage. Against the Tortuga Dominions, okay. Go max salvage. Now then. The question is, of course, which mech is TTB gonna be in? That's the number one concern right now. Um... Should we leave these mechs vanilla, by the way? I'm not sure if I should leave these mechs vanilla. Read the mission. If it's early game, go cash. If it sounds like vehicles, that's a good point. Um, let me just check this mech here real quick. Oh, yikes. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Uh, it's, this does not look good. So, those machine guns. We will forego same thing for the ammo of those machine guns. Because, I don't know about you guys, but I like armor on my mechs. This mech can be fairly nicely armored. But, uh, it's not right now. So, let's make this thing tanky. 
I'll see jump jets in here that we probably won't need as much. Um, so we can remove them. Yeah, we won't be using jump jets in this mech, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, what else can we throw out? There's another jump jet in here. Another jump jet. These are all just small laser hard points. Do I have, like, another medium laser? I have another medium laser. We can just turn this into a laser boat. Because we can go medium laser here. Uh, the engine is a problem. It's a, it's a big core engine in here. I don't have anything to substitute this for right now. So... Um, also, the arms need to be armored up. If we don't want to lose them. There we go. And now, what? A little bit more back armor. There we go. I don't know about you guys, but this looks better to me than before, with all the jump jets. And we basically increased the armor by like almost 50%. Of course, the problem is now, <laughs> this thing is fairly weak, like medium range actually. Close range it gets quite powerful, especially with bonking mechs and whatnot. I wonder if I should kill two small lasers and add a medium laser. Because this thing is going to be a beast when it's actually melee distance, when we're punching somebody or kicking somebody. Because then afterwards we also shoot the small lasers, right? Maybe I kick the maybe I kick the large laser out. Just throw it into medium lasers and some heat efficiency. I'm not sure. Hmm. <laughs> I think we just go with this build like it is right now. MPT saying drop the medium la large laser for medium lasers and heat sinks. Yeah, I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to do that. I just I just want the firepower, close range, I guess. Um, do we have more medium lasers? No. That's a problem. Maybe to try to shop for medium lasers. Let's see if we can shop for it, by the way. Inner Sphere Battle Armor. We can get a hover tank. Oh yeah, vehicles. We could get like we could pay like 550k for a vehicle that runs uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine SRM sixes and an arc launcher. With acid. Nine SRM sixes with acid. That's insanity! These vehicles are, like, so much more dangerous than mechs. <laughs> Come on. Um, PPC, snap those PPC. Okay, there's no medium laser here that we could get. We can't get a medium laser to save our lives. Okay. Alright. So we said we remove that, we remove the jump jets. Maybe I keep the machine guns. Maybe I keep the machine guns. And we'll just we'll just have like like uh Zwerg is saying, we, we might just go ahead and use it as uh as a mech that just goes ahead and uh bonks down poor lights. Machine gun ammo goes into the leg though. I'm not gonna keep ammo in the torsos, I am not insane. Or ammo in the CT and then boom, everything goes away. Everything must go! Yeah, this mech on its basic loadout is like half armored. Like you've got all this tonnage, tonnage and you have no ammo. Uh, no armor on that thing. That is just sad. Alright. Fully armored up. So we can add another heatsink. And then what? Oh, we're overweight already. That's not good. So much for that. Maybe just armor. We have a sm I have more small lasers though. Could add another small laser. <laughs> Can I? No, I can't. Everything's full. Never mind.
Anything else I can throw out? I don't think so. Hmm. Of course, if I throw out the machine guns, I save half a ton. If I throw out the machine guns, we can do the small lasers here. And we have enough tonnage now. Um, could lower the legs a little bit. I could go 110 on the legs. Just want to go 30 on the side torsos. Okay. And now we can go with another heat sink. Okay. Alpha strike heat is 65, heat sinking 36. Okay, that's gonna be hot. But this is gonna be hot close range only. Alright. Uh, let's see, 35. Okay, that will be over. That ah, looks fine. Need to brawl, want to brawl, the back needs to be sturdier. Yeah, you're right. Let me drop one of the small lasers. Just to add more cover. Protection. Let's go, go 40. 45 each. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, seven days. Oof. So much preparation work. So that's my. That's gonna be our first mech. Then the Griffin is gonna be a second mech. LRMs, LRM twenty, and large pots. Okay, double heat sinks. What the fuck did we find here? Yo, that thing's lit. That thing is lit. That is a nice starting mech. Put the LRM ammo on the legs though. Uh, armor is not looking too good though. So what would we do with that? It's even got cases up here. Which we don't need. Um, so here's what we'll do with that griffin. Remove the jump jet. Put the heatsink in here. Armor up the arm. Armor up the torsos. I like my mechs fully armored. That heatsink right here goes into the CT. That way this arm doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I, I want the armor on that mech. The problem is going to be it's going to be super hard to get all these armor points in here properly. Um, I'm wondering SM2, SM4, LRM10. We've got LRM10 here. You know what? Maybe I just turn this griffin into a learn boat. Maybe this griffin is just going to be a learn boat. Can't, I have no more medium lasers, unfortunately. But what I can do is I can remove the large pulse laser. Although it's gonna be nice for early on because it gets too accuracy, right? So what can we remove here? What can we remove to make this mech a little bit better? Well, more usable. I think we can remove two more jump jets. And that should be it then. We'll just try it like, like it is right now. All the heat sinks are protected. Legs could use a little bit more armor, but okay, whatever. Seven days, that's dope. That mech's right. also ready. I'll get it in the skip. So, two more mechs. We've got the uh, Fireball right here. Streak SRM2. Machine guns. It's got Indo Steel. Okay. And Fireball Narrow Profile, what that means. Plus one evasion pips for movement and plus one defense of getting hit. That's actually nice. What about this Locust Narrow Profile as well? Same as the same thing doesn't have endo steel so what does this fireball have this looks cool doesn't have jump jets though right oh so one griffin i want for a starter mech a starter griffin yeah it is an amazing griffin i mean the double heat sinks and everything it's gonna help a lot you could do a, a really nice brawler with that thing so it's got machine gun okay it's it basically this thing has what this thing has nothing this, this thing has nothing. I mean, it's got an XL engine that we can cannibalize. That's good. You can cannibalize an XL engine. <laughs> but um, other than that, it doesn't have anything. Streak and machine gun. Like, the firepower is non-existent. Okay. Let's, let's check the other mech. Back. Locust. Yeah, Locust has a lot more firepower. Um, 
doesn't have any armor though so what i will do here let's go to what a core 160 hang on let me check the fireball on the internals what kind of what kind of engine core does this thing have does it say core 220 so this thing is gonna run like crazy this thing is gonna this gonna thing is gonna run like crazy so maybe that fireball is actually viable as a scout. Gotta be fast as fuck, boys. Doesn't have any firepower to speak of, though, so... <laughs> it's gonna be weird. Now, why does it even have a heat sink? It has, it has heat sinks for no reason. It's heat sinking 30 heat, but the alpha strike is 7 heat. Those heat sinks are not needed. It's complete bogus. Heat sinking 24 heat. Okay, better. Now, what else can we do? You give this thing another laser. Another small laser. I'm gonna just remove two heat sinks and they don't they don't do anything for damage? Why? Is it because of the hmm. of the core? Two required external heat sinks. Ah, but those counter as weightless. Okay, okay, okay. So if I remove those, the mech is gonna be invalid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I remove those, the mech's gonna be invalid. Alright, makes sense. So we can't use that. Stick SLM2 is 1.5 tons. Hmm. I can change the machine gun, however. A small laser and uh, that allows me to change this trick SRM2 maybe to this SRM4 aha aha okay we're making progress SRM ammo now we armor up a little bit Arr. Oh, we don't need the arms as much on this thing, so... That could work. How is the uh, firepower? A lot better now. SM4 is 32 damage. The streak SM2 would have been, what, 18? Yeah. I think this is better now. I think this is better now. Back armor non existent, but that's gonna be okay. It's just gonna run around like crazy. Fireball is just gonna run around like crazy. It's gonna be our scouting mech. Then we've got this Hussar here and uh, the Locust. Yeah, the, these mechs will be here, but we can't really do much with them. Uh, the Locust, well, what can we do with the Locust? How many heatsinks do we need? Four required external heatsinks, okay, we have those. So, there's not much we can do. I can go ahead and just remove the small lasers from the Locust. And that way, gain my tonnage so we can armor up a little bit more. So we can take a hit. Because we kind of need to. I prefer my Locusts alive. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. There we go. All right. Logged and noted. Okay, just leaves the Hussar, which is going to be a mech that has a one large laser, so it's gonna be like a large laser, long range sniper. But it also gives us this um, increased resolve gain for the whole land, so that's actually not horrible. Uh, oh fuck in hell! Okay, this is a mech that doesn't want to get hit, ever. What is that thing? <laughs> What? What is this thing? <laughs> it's just a coffin on legs. <laughs> it's, a, it's a coffin on legs. What? Um. Um. Well. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of scared to take this thing into the fight. I'm kind of scared to take this thing into the fight. If I do, it needs to stay, like, back in Timbuktu. It needs to stay way back. Alright. Um, what, what kind of... 
Okay, it's task in progress. It's fine, it's fine. We're working on it. We are working on it. Let us make sure that we save our game. Start! Oh. Oh, if you're not asleep yet, if we just spent 20 minutes working on our mechs. That's okay. You gotta, you gotta have a setup. You can't just jump in like a crazed madman, can you? Well, you can, but eh. I recommend it. Um, can we can we hire pilots? Because I want to hire maybe somebody. Receiving you. Mm. Commander. Succubus. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna hire a succubus. Sure. New mech warriors available. Now. Uh, we need to go to our command center. Actually, no. We have to wait until our stuff is ready first. Uh, life fire exercises. That is just for Urbis, right? It's just a beginning mission. We don't really need that. We we'll, we'll don't. We we'll won't do that. Heavy metal. Of course, we're taking the crate. Let's see what's in the crate. Show me the crate. We got a Whitworth, a forty-ton battle mech. Hell yeah! I got some LB10 ammo. All right, see, we probably won't have to use the mobile coffin at all. That's lucky. Somebody, somebody's, somebody's sleeping well again. So, um, let's see, the Whitworth, what does it have? It's like double LRM-10s, maybe? Double LRM-10s and a medium laser. Okay. That's actually not a bad mech. Uh, we need four external heat sinks. We have those here. We also have jump jets. If it's a lure mech, it doesn't need jump jets. So we can remove those. Yep. Hello? Hello? Why can't I grab the jump jet? I can't move the jump jet around over here. It's locked for some reason. Ah, game. Why? Like, this is locked. I can't move it. I can move this jump jet, but I can't move that one for some reason. Weird. Okay. Let's see if we have enough tonnage, anyways. Also, that's LRM Artemis 4. Wow. Okay. That's actually a good mech that we fought here. Yeah, the problem is I can't move the ammo then to the legs where I won't really want them. That's super annoying. Uh huh. Thing is, these arms don't carry any weapons, right? So we can lower these a little bit. There we go. LRM 10 fire support. Is this correct, by the way? It's got LRM-10 launchers, but Artemis ammo. But I can use the Artemis ammo on LRM launchers, right? I don't need LRM-10 plus Artemis as a weapon system, I think. Ah, whatever, we'll validate it. It's gonna right. be good. It's gonna I'll be nice. Yeah, we could go strip equipment, of course. Uh, we don't need Merc News. I don't know. Allied with Darius? Okay, cool. That's our mech done. Okay. Flashpoints are coming up. Fireball's done. Network orders complete, Ship upgrade boss. is gone. Top not to work, if I may say so. Campaign flashpoints? Yes. Let's grab contain flashpoints as well. Oh, skip. Skip. New flashpoint added in Coromodia. Yeah, that's okay. We might do these as well. Uh, two days for the Whitworth. Okay, so is Whitworth is done. Now we can go to engineering. We have our uh, repair and refit faster done. Let's work on the power system. Sure thing. That way we can increase our drop size, and the more mechs, the happier we will be. And now we can finally actually take on a mission. Arr. Um, This is an assassination mission, half a skull. Unguarded and vulnerable, if you can trust them. Um. Like, there's not that much cash to be had, it's just 150k, right? So maybe we go like with half cash, half salvage? Could just be garbage though, I don't know. Should we just go with cash? I, I always... This is the step where I always falter, I'm never sure what to take here. Later on, probably salvage. 
right now. Probably... Probably payment. Hmm. It's probably just gonna be like a crap mech or something. Let's go full cash. Alright. Uh, give me the chameleon. Here will be a TTB in the chameleon. Then in the command lines will be the griffin, the Whitworth, and the locust. And then in the other lands, lands 2, will be our sprinter, our fireball. And now we need a fast pilot for that. Do we have a fast pilot? Caveman. Oh yeah, we want a caveman in the pilot. Yeah, yeah. Caveman is going to be our... <laughs> He's going to be our a poor man that's going to be... Uh... <laughs> oh, that's the vehicle lands, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the vehicle lands. I could have bought the vehicle. I could have bought the tank, by the way. Just realized. Okay, um... Let's see. Maybe we'll put... I mean, it's nice to have somebody who can actually hit stuff. Uh, maybe we put Bloody Doves in the Whitworth. And then... The other guys will just level up with other mechs later on. Put Duo in here, in the Griffin. And... Bop, bop, bop. Coach? In here? Okay, done. Deploy. Okay, chat is saying I should have taken the loadout. I should have taken the loot. Yeah. Too late. Taking the cash. Rip, rip, rip. But hey. It doesn't matter. We go and assassinate somebody. Hopefully I remember how to play this game. <laughs> After spending like an eon <laughs> in a metal app. It's like, yep, let me just tinker with this a little bit. And let me just tinker with that a little bit. And then we will put the, put the screws on here and the twist of the thumb screw over there. Uh, maybe a little bit of buffing out. Adding a little bit more color. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be very beautiful. Command interface initiated. Yoink. My turn, it says. Alright, let's see. Supporting enemy forces are where exactly? To the left. Target unit center. Okay. Well then, uh, where do we go from here? Hmm. Is there, there's no cover here whatsoever. No, no good cover, at least. Um, some cover is over here. So, problem is, can we sprint up here? I think we can go up here. Maybe we just go this way. Actually, that's the border. That's the border of the map. Okay. Yeah, we go. We go this way, straight to our target. Oof. I keep forgetting how bad the the performance of this game is. Everything's lagging. Copy that, Commander. Jeebus. Maybe I need to change stuff more in the settings. Oh, we can't change it right now. Oh, no, we can change it right now, right? <laughs> Hopefully that'll help a little bit with the performance. Yeah. That's the that's the one unfortunate thing about this game. The performance is ass. And it's not because the game has such amazing graphics, it is just because uh, it's on a it's on a bad engine. Onward. PTA doesn't help the lag, yeah, PTA makes the lag even worse, <laughs> unfortunately. Alright, let's see, TTB can sprint up to here for six. Copy that. We still, now we have contact, there's our Griffin, there is our Whitworth. Moving, Commander. Um, Coach can sprint up quite a bit. 
And the fireball, the fireball can run into the next century. Oh. I'm going. Maybe you can see him now. Nope. Unknown mech. Yeah, unfortunately, like, the, there's no more development going into the game, right? Standing by. That's the sad thing, so... Um, let's see how far we can get. Six? I can't see him from here, though. Oop, hang on. I await your command. Let's see if we can see him from here. Five, nope. 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 I can see him from here, though. Eight evasive pips. I'm walking here. It's a... It's a Hollander! Okay. Do we have any active abilities? Nope. Let me just shoot him. <laughs> it got streaks and the Gauss rifle! Hang on, the Gauss is destroyed though, right? It doesn't have ammo for the Gauss, right? This thing is gone. It's red. Yeah, it shouldn't it shouldn't exist. What are your Very orders, nice. Skipper? Okay. Coach. Coach, you can sprint over here. Seven evasive pips do the same I thing. Keep firing assholes. Now let's see how you handle this. Ready, Commander. All right, we can move over here. Start some Lermage here with our Artemis missiles. 63% to hit. What happens if I go Battle Lord? 74% to hit, hell yeah. Oof. Oof. I wonder if I um, did something wrong with the installation. Maybe that's why the performance is a little bit worse. I installed the performance fix and I installed it with uh, multi-core optimization. Receiving you. Uh, where can we get TTB? Can we get TTB in the range to shoot? Actually, not yet. So we just sprint like a crazy madman. Double time. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Receiving you. He was still up. He's got an LRM20. So we could move him or we could sprint him. Let's just sprint him. On it. And bring some more missiles to the bear. Just a little bit of chip damage. That Holland is actually pretty healthy. Uh oh. Oh yeah, the Gauss rifle doesn't work. Perfect. Oh, it's on now. Okay, we are inspired now. Very nice. Here come the goons. Alright, bloody doves, we move you over here. Moving, Commander. And we will do some more allure march. Does he have any other active abilities? Stone Cold? Nah. Okay, we'll just we'll just fire. That did some good damage. Hey, yo. Um. Can we sprint behind him and shoot him in the back? Quick stepping it. Yep. Fun pass. Fun point. Huh. Ghost weapon model in the Holland or something else? It's it's a big gun. It looks a little bit like the gun from Doom. Looks pretty cool though. Not gonna lie. I'm receiving Cave you. man, uh, same thing, we sprint you over here, he's gonna be super oh, evasive, man. out the wazoo. A little bit too close to the Hollander, I hope we don't get banged here in the face, but... <laughs> okay, he just, he just died. I have no idea how, but he just died. <laughs> Did he get like engine crit or something? That was fast. Well, I guess we move TTB in now. Better receive those move. gentlemen over here. Commander. And that Griffin, we can move him here. Now we can let the enemy come to us, hopefully. Oh, it's just one mech. Is that it? Nope, two mechs, okay. Is a caveman. We'll sprint. We can't even get higher than eight, so it doesn't make any sense to go any higher than this. Just move here. Rolling. We have a panther. Uh oh. Oh, it's also destroyed. These mechs are all crap. 
Why are these max so crappy? I think I think that Hollander got crit in the Gauss Rifle and the Gauss Rifle exploded or something. He just he just fell over and died. That was super weird. Over here. Confirmed. Good sir. Affirmative, Commander. These crapellants. I'm on them. These guys are not really in fighting shape right now, which is a good thing Stand for me. By. Makes our job easier. Can I get to a spot where I can actually shoot this guy directly? I can. Aye aye. It's gonna be a little bit shaken, but it's gonna be fine, I think. At least I can bring all full weapons to bear now. Copy that. Wow. The FPS is super rough. I, I I don't remember Battletech Advance being this laggy. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something else. Ah no not main menu. That is. I'm gonna try something else. I'm literally gonna set everything to low. There we go. Everything too low. Doesn't get any lower than this. This is the lowest graphics setting possible. Waiting for orders. <sighs> On a CPU that runs circles around the game. No shooting, just running. All right. Let's let the Panther have it. Locked on target. Nice, a little bit of melting. Not quite through the side torso though. Skipper. And uh, shall we sprint like over here? Copy that, Commander. And re-engage the Panther. Here we go. Oi, something with internal. Oh, we still have the caveman here, sprinting around like a crazed madman. On the move, full speed. For a side shot with the SM4. Wrong side, unfortunately, but what the hell? Melting armor. Take that. Yeah, it's possible there's too many calculations going on behind the scenes. Uh, dude, I've got six evasive pips. You have no chance in hell to hit me. Well, some chance, but it's very low. Okay. Um, I kind of want to have Ready, the ability to go to melee with TTB here. Moving, Commander. But having that learn boat here is also nice. I didn't like that one. Got a heavy hit there. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, he missed. Is it a wasp or what is that? Can't see. It's a fire starter. Okay, half destroyed fire starter. Okay. Commander. Uh, this is gonna be a full destroyed panther now. Overheat alert. No, we won't overheat because we just punch with. Uh, hang on. Which weapons can I use? These weapons are these weapons are even blocked. You can't even overheat. These weapons are, are blocked in a punch. What are you talking about? It's gonna be an attack with a medium laser, four small lasers, and we're punching. 84% to hit. Position Let's do it. Confirmed. And a bonk. And a miss. Failed to connect. The infamous 84%. Oh, 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 oh. Solid connection on that I one. I didn't like this one, though. And he's going down. One health on the pilot. Ready for orders. Um... Oh, that jumping capability is basically not Double time. Let's go. Uh, let's go for the fire starter. Firing. Yeah, so it must be the calculations in the background. Like, I've got all the graphics to zero now. Uh, the graphics card is more than able to handle this. It's, it's just all the calculations that BTA does in the background. Um, yeah, they're, they're just adding a shitload of lag. Can we just attack this guy? Can kick him. 
them with the medium lasers? Sure, let's do that. Good morning. Locust kicking. Boink. That's 19 damage. Right. I'm your spaniel. Caveman. Do it. More kicking with light max. I'm your spaniel. And the boink. Rock em, sock em. Oh, we hit something good. He didn't like that. Reporting critical hit. He's not dead though. He's panicked now at least. Oh, fire starter's coming. No, 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 no. Uh, it's gonna be warm. And fuzzy. I'm gonna need a medic. Uh, who? Who's got severe burns? Who needs a medic? Who? It, does, it doesn't even show what's going on here. The fuck? Oh yeah, TTP just got, got, got severe burns. <laughs> It's the same bullshit always, those frickin' wounds. One attack from the fire starter, instant severe burns, instant wound. It's, come on! Are you frickin' serious? Ready, Commander. I got burned, yeah. Moving, Commander. Commander got headshot. With a flamers. <sighs> now the panther gets up. Let's hope he doesn't kill anybody. Nope, he just got it. Okay. Waiting for orders. All right. I'm pissed at this guy now. I'm really pissed at this guy. So we're going to do the same thing again. This time we hit. Now this is got him stressed. Waiting for orders. Let's move over to yonder. Aye aye. And we engage the fire starter once again. Acknowledge. And rip. Hope we can salvage that. Unsalvageable part. <laughs> and then we have Skipper. Coach. Just shoot I'm him in the rolling. back. Just 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 shoot him. All win. Oh, he still has back armor. Never mind. Okay, nope. He panicked and ejected. No, oh, we would have had so much salvageable parts here. Mission but I chose successful. to take the money. I chose to take the money. Rip. I chose to take the money. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. One, uh, almost 200k though in cash. TTB injured for 23 days. Um, I got the fire starter part though. So, not horrible. Would have liked the engine core potentially. So, all in all, not horrible. TTB being in the infirmary once again, instantly. <laughs> hey, it's better than last time we started the game. I would like instantly lost the pilot. He got he got hit by an LRM to the cockpit. Does no damage. Pilot instantly wounded into Timbuktu. Starts bleeding out at the beginning of the man of the round. Oh man. And then dies in by, when we eject him. Yep. That wasn't cool. Well, I guess I'm gonna wait 23 days to get TTP back. Because I wanna be back in the fight. BTA calling. What is that? Why are they wizards? By the way, if any of us bear resemblance to any of your crew trust you know enough to, about cops to not to ask too many questions. What's that contract? A chance to test our skill in battle against a hardened mercenary outfit such as your own, the reputation of Congats. We will of course reimburse you for any damages incurred to your own units. Okay, sure. Unique contract named BTA's Challenge. Okay, we didn't get that last time, so that must be new. I've got the financial. Uh, 300k is our monthly costs right now. Okay. Network orders Four conduits are complete. Top not to work, if I may say so. Now, we can go with drop size.
Med base take a long while, right? Med base needs better, better port. We don't have better port yet. Uh, two tech points, two tech points, or drop size. Drop size is very expensive though. We just get two tech points here for 270k. Yes. Sure thing. It'll get two tech bit, points for 270k, and then we will go ahead and get TTB uninjured. Stop. All right, next mission. Does my Griffin stuff jump jets? Yes, it has one jump jet right now. Uh, yeah, we won't do that mission right now because <laughs> that looks. Uh, this is just for fun. Our damage will be repaired after the battle. Bring some firepower and show the BTA team what we're made of. <laughs> Maybe we can walk away with this one from the battle mech. Okay, I don't know the mission, so, um, however, like, this difficulty says, uh, rip, right, so. Dead alive, another assassination mission. One skull, 400k. Hmm. What else do we get? Recovery, a battle, desert battle. One and a half skull is definitely too much. I think one skull is still doable for us. I think once I think one skull is, is is doable for us. I have no feel for the difficulty of the game, so I'm gonna say one one skull is probably doable for us. So let's do assassination. Um, this time we go for cash. I don't know if we go for salvage. Two out of nine. All right. As far as the mechs go, same loadout once again. Can I drop the next mech already? No. Should I should I get a vehicle? Should I get a vehicle? <laughs> should we buy a tank? Because there's a hover tank here with uh, PPC and SM4, and it's also like this this thing right here, SM2s. So there's this thing right here, and then there is the ballista, ballista artillery tank. Yo, that could be nice with the sniper artillery. That could be super valuable in the beginning. Sniper artillery could be super valuable. There was there was also a um, earlier on, what is this ER large laser for sale right now? By the way, speaking about selling, um, goodbye. I don't want the battle armor bullshit. We are not doing battle armors. Let's just get rid of it so it doesn't show up anymore. Because it annoys me. Okay. Okay, what can we buy here? Medium pulse laser. One medium pulse laser. Is there a medium laser for sale? No, we got some force for sale. Gyro defense. Double heat sink kits. All of this is just too expensive right now. Um, I'm thinking about one of the vehicles though. Like the ballista could be insane. We also had like an, uh, an SRM6 tank. For sale uh, earlier, but I didn't buy it. But that thing would have been ridiculous. But I think that sniper artillery could be super powerful. You know what? I'm gonna buy it. Does it need a pilot? New battle max available. I wonder if it needs a pilot. All right, and we can keep it safe. Exactly. So let's see. Does it need a pilot? Yeah, it needs a pilot. Okay, we got a pilot here. Uh, the thing here, and then we need. Who do we use as a pilot? Mignon. I mean, she's further ahead right now. So this pilot can't pilot vehicles. Okay, we need a vehicle pilot then. Okay, okay, need a vehicle pilot. Uh, hiring hall. Uh, your main character can do it. Like, where do you see um, whether somebody can pilot vehicles or not? Circus of Us for Hire can do it too. Oh, here, piloting can both pilot both vehicles and mechs. Okay. Reporting. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, now uh, MV. Ah, mech and vehicle. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Perfect, perfect. 
Thank you. Mech warriors Problem solved. Problem solved. Let's do it. All right. Lance number three, ballista and uh, circus. Our circus freak is gonna be in the ballista. Deploy. Ah, oh, we got a ballista. <laughs> Anybody remember the gamers? I backstab him with a ballista. You gotta backstab him. Uh huh. With a freaking siege weapon. Uh huh. There's gotta be something in there against the uh, in the rules against this. <laughs> the legendary ballista backstab. <laughs> And we have fast moving lights so we can scout for the sniper artillery. And sniper artillery, it's hard. It's gonna suck for the enemy. It's gonna suck for the enemy, and I'm happy about that. Okay. Let me see. Where's my where's my where's my where's my artillery? There it is, it's my artillery. What's the range on that thing? I thought these, these massive damage at extreme range, but have immense mass. Two times chance for a critical hit. Minus one direct fire accuracy, okay. Uh, recall of four, shot can scatter. Can I be intercepted by five? Uh, okay. Got HE ammo. Direct and indirect fire modes. 15 rounds. Alright. Well then, what are your orders, let's go. Skipper? Uh, okay, there's our is that our target? Okay, and then where's the support lands? Over here. Okay, well then. Uh, we'll just go up here then, because I don't want to be below him. Remember guys, height is important in Battletech Advanced. Super important. Targets that are higher up are gods. We've made that mistake in the past. I will never, yes, ever, ever again in this game take the low ground. Can we see both of them? We can just see one thing. Okay. Went here. No shooting. Just running. And that is a Jenner. Oh, a super evasive Jenner. An evasive god Jenner. Oh, the mech is coming towards us. That's alright. Ready, Commander. Uh, Mr. Dogs. Actually, you know what? Reserve. Holding, Commander. Jenner has moved. Haha, <laughs> he has moved. Ready, Commander. Ah, you poor idiot. You moved. <laughs> you gave up your evasiveness. You gave up your evasiveness. Here come the LRMs. Nyak, 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 nyak. Oh, it's a Vulcan. And he's got flamers. And the fireball is burning. Okay. Receiving you. Confirmed. Now the Twitch and is gonna be bad. Very crappy, but what the hell? Yeah, we did nothing basically against the Vulcan. Uh, I'm gonna sprint TTB up here. And what I'm gonna try to do is just get in melee range, and just bonk him. On it. Oh, okay. Got two, four mini blazes and a flamer. Okay. Now then, yes, sniper artillery. Should I just go attack ground? Uh oh, that is that is risky though. That's risky. Let's go for the Jenner. Target confirmed. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> this is unfair. Oh. Confirmed. Okay. Actually, can we? Can I actually? I could charge him, but maybe not. Actually, it's just move here, here. See what the Copy other guy that, is. Commander. The spider down low. Okay. Forty-eight percent to hit. And did nothing. It's a general two squeeze. <laughs> Okay, oh, and the scorpion. Huh? Huh? Please don't hit, he didn't hit. Aha! Why didn't he hit, you might ask? Well, A, five evasive pips, and B, he was shooting from lower ground. 
super hard to hit. Waiting for order. Um, when does the Vulcan get to go? Seven. So I could melee him here. And if I hit him, he's gonna be a lot less evasive. I kind of don't want that. I kind of want to move here. No, not here. I kind of want to move into his back here. I'll race ya. And make him feel uncomfortable. Or maybe not. Maybe we go for the uh, general instead. Spider, tank and something else. Yeah, you don't hit this. Again, lower ground. I told you guys, I'm never gonna go to low ground again. I've had missions where I had to fight up. Like, there was just a, the enemy was just on a single hill, you have to fight uphill. It is horrible. It's such, Pretty such a, a bad experience. Doesn't feel good at all. What's that vehicle, by the way? Is that a, oh, it's a laser carrier? L three large lasers? Hell no. I'm gonna get a little bit of damage to him. Actually, with the sniper artillery, we could hit both of those. Oh, the Vulcan's coming! And he's hitting up TTB. If I'm gonna go into the infirmary instantly again, I'm gonna cry. Okay. Good to go. TTB's turn. Alright then, good sir. Oh, I can only charge him. Are you serious? Okay, maybe not him. Um, nope. Reserve for a sec. Waiting for the right move. It's a good thing we were evasive. I need to hit this guy with the Locust. I need to melee him with the Locust if I can, but I can't right now. Uh, Circus, though. Copy that. I do attack ground right here. Confirm. Uh, great camera. Great camera work. I don't see if I hit anything or not. <laughs> okay, we hit both of them. But the ca that was ridiculous. The camera just focuses on the shooter, not the target. Ah! Waiting okay. for orders. Um, TTB, what do we do with you? We just move him behind the enemy. On my way. And uh, then we will just... Heat him up a little bit. Just with the small lasers, I would say. Wow, we hit nothing. Okay. Order. Duo, what can we do with you? Can we jump you up to this guy? Nope. Sprint him over here. On my way. Double time. Go for the laser carrier. Burn. Yep, structure exposed. Next shot will kill him. Nice. I think I hit something good. Oh, it's on now. Okay. That's not gonna do anything, once again. Height difference. A little bit of damage, but it's okay. It's over, Anakin! We have the high ground! <laughs> okay. Um, there's only one spot to attack this guy from behind, though. That sucks! I can only... I can only melee, melee this guy from that spot. That is horrible. Okay. Uh, we will sprint over here. Affirmative, Commander. And attack the laser carrier. Engage target. Rip. Frag the vehicle. Like vehicles are adding such an interesting dimension, and it's also gonna make it a little bit better for you as a player, because now you also have a lance of vehicles. So you can field like uh <laughs> could field fifteen in total. Jeepers. That's insane. I live okay. to serve. Caveman, what can we do with you? Should we just harass the Jenner? Big time? Punching? Can we punch? Kick? If I punch, my weapons will fire, right? Yes. Let's try this. Rolling. Hello! And a bonk! <laughs> bonk! That didn't do anything. Oh! That spider shouldn't hit anything, yep. The problem is TTB must, must should have, um, yeah, it's, 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 the Vulcan's gonna move before me, unfortunately. Ready, Commander. Huh.
Don't attack the Jenner. Got a heavy hit there. Okay, reserved. Now it's moving. What is he doing? Yeah, it's not gonna hit, buddy. Uh oh. He's basically gonna get hit up. Uh, hit it up. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Hit it! Pilot injured! Yes, Commander. This is. This is. <laughs> Yo. Bloody doves. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> this is starting to get stupid. If I kick him, I can use all my weapons. Is that it? Gonna overheat though. Should be fine though, it's just a little bit of overheating. I'm really pissed at this dude now. And the boink! There we go. No more evasive. And now comes the firepower. Oh, not that much firepower, but at least a little bit. Waiting for orders. Um. Acknowledged. Commander. Rumpa, rumpa, burr. Ground attack, maybe. Actually, no, we just attacked the spider. Yoink! That ah, was a good buy. Okay, a couple of solid hits though on the arm. That's alright, the arm doesn't have anything in it, I think. Actually, it does have anything in it. It has my, my large pulse laser in it, so that's not a good idea. Uh, should we just punch the Jenner? Nope, we, do, we, no, we will not punch the Jenner. We will um, move over yonder and harass the Vulcan. Hmm. I mean, caveman. I will be done. Um. He's gonna punch the Jenner. From here. Acknowledged. Oh, now Damn. 10 damage. Boom! He hit it! I hit him in the head from the side. <laughs> hey! I hit the arm. Stop it. Alright. Ready, Commander. Moving, Commander. Maybe precision strike the Jenner. Get rid of that thing finally. We got a leg. Delta. He should be punching out here. Oh. He's panicked and everything. Alright. Is he punching out? Yeah, he's punching out. He's out. Watch the flank. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dusty. That's good. I can't take my. I'm starting to cook. Yeah, yeah, I feel it. Standing by. All right, buddy. Oh, we're super hot. We are super, super hot. Can we do even anything, or should we just walk away? Move order received. I'm taking heat damage. Too hot. I'm Can't do anything. Alright, buddy. Point blank. Was that charge? No, we don't want to charge him. Good to go. All an ass. This Vulcan is super annoying because one flamer. All weapons are gone. No, oh, so much for the flamer. Target's taking a critical hit. Now then. Order. <laughs> Locking on. Yeah, hello? Did we hit anything? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. The answer is a definite maybe. Wah! Not my ballista, you bastard! Leave it alone. Light damage, Commander. You little shitter. Confirmed. Nope. A 
Let's get in here. Start working on the Vulcan some more. A little bit more internal damage. I'm ready. Caveman. Caveman. What can you do? You can be very evasive. I'm walking here. And we can hit the Vulcan with the small laser and the SM4. Sort of jump jet. I hmm. think things are going swimmingly. Don't you? Oh, he thinks his things are going swimmingly. Ah, I don't know. It's gonna be a long episode. Ready, Commander. Bloody doves. We'll just move you here. Moving, Commander. And we'll show that Scorpion what we think of him. The answer is not much. Oh, minus the medium laser. He's got an MRM20 on that thing. There goes the Vulcan. He really hates TTB, apparently. Orders? TTB is still cooking. Why are we not? Why are we not seeking any heat? No, I'm just gonna brace you. There we go. Holding here. But this will allow us to go ahead and punch this time. No, kick. Kick is better. We will kick the Vulcan. Acknowledged. Kick him in the shins. Bonk. There we go. No more evasiveness. And now a large pulse laser. Nice hit. He didn't like that. And we're going down, boy. Bonk. Oh, oh, oh. Right toss is destroyed. Is he dead? No. He's not dead. Not yet. Yes, All right, buddy. Uh, revenge shall be mine. Precision strike. Aha! Precision sniper artillery. Bonk. Oh, not horrible. Ready to rock. Should we kick him again? Yeah, kick Got him down. while they're down. Bonk. Injury resisted, of course. Oh, he's panicked. Good. He's panicking. Command. Very good. Kick him while he's down. He's not doing so hot here. Rip. Farewell, sweet prince. How did incapacitated? Oh, here comes the spider. Actually, hit the Whitworth. Okay. Our revenge will be terrible, little spider. Especially Ready since we now have. Oh, we just we just kill that scorpion first. Or not? He's open but not dead. Got a heavy hit there. Clumsy bunny, eh? Yep, it's BattleTech Advanced. We are doing BattleTech Advanced. Once more, is that spider dead? Did he die? Eh? Where did the spider go? Got it. This is weird. Okay, well, whatever. Let's uh, shoot this guy. Engaging target. He's dead. Oof. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. All right, victory is ours. Mission so, successful. one scout missions also work. I like the inclusion of the sniper artillery. Oh, that was fun. Oh, he bled out. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah, isn't there, isn't there, is there like a little window that you can open that shows like all the events, what's happening? And I saw that that thing is in Rogue Tech. I just don't know if it's in BTA. Uh, well, we don't get many much money here. Um, TTB once again out for 23 days because somebody grazed the cockpit. <clears throat> well, we could get a Vulcan part here. Or two spider parts. Uh, we get three large lasers and medium lasers. MRM20 is here as well. And some cores. And is this Apollo MRM ammo? We could get the MRM20. Or I could get large lasers. Question is what do I need? I actually need medium lasers. Have to think of it. But the Balkan part is just too, too juicy to not, not take. Now what will we take? Will we take the MRM120 or will we take the, the engine core? I never know. Hmm. 
We're also gonna get three extra parts after this, right? Oh no, how many did we get? We select two items and we get nine total, okay. So I could get a Jenna part here and we'll just get a random of these. Oh, I take the MRM120. I don't know if MRM120 is that good though. Uh, MRM20 is that good though. Maybe I'll just take the engine core. Or the FCS Apollo, now it's not even that valuable. What's the highest value here? Definitely the engine core. We're taking the engine core. Alright, let's see what we get. General part, spider part, a large laser. And the Apollo MRM ammo, but not the MRM launcher. And a lot of three machine guns. Or Okay. Well, there we go. We survived the first two missions and TTB gets injured every single mission. We always take one to the noggin. Some things never change, boys. Some things never change. And on that note, I'll see you in the next video.